Greetings. Hello everyone, it's Goose. This video took place about four years ago and it takes us to Orlando, Florida. I am going to warn you, this video is very hard to watch. Come over here. Orlando, it's for you. Keep your hands, okay? Come over here, honey. Six years old, and the handcuffs they used were zip ties. We're gonna flash forward and see the little girl at nine years old. On my piano. I just like the sound. It's calming and it sounds pretty. Nine-year-old Kaya Roll is described as a fun, loving, caring kid who loves music. I was still a child. And enjoyed spending time with her little brother and sister at least most of the time. They could be annoying sometimes, but they're still very fun to play with. Kaya's family says from the outside, she seems like an average kid, but every day she pushes through trying to win an internal battle. It's taking away the old me. It's taking away the good behaviors I had. It's taking away my friends and family. It's not gonna hurt. Her family says Kaya started to change after this moment in 2019. An Orlando police officer arrested Kaya at her charter school when she was six years old. The now fired cop zip tied her wrists, put her in the back of the police car, Please let me go. and brought her down to the juvenile jail. All of this was in response to her throwing a tantrum where she was accused of kicking three staff members. In the body camera video, you can hear school staff even questioning the officer's arrest. Her grandmother, Marilyn Kirkland, said her tantrum was the result of sleep apnea, something she said the school knew about. She was also scheduled to get surgery to help with it. So this happened September 19th. Her surgery was scheduled for October 31st. It just took everything from just a medical condition that was going to be resolved to a lifetime mental and emotional issue. Kirkland says Kaya hasn't been the same since that day. Doctors diagnosed her with post-traumatic stress disorder, separation anxiety, and oppositional defiant disorder. She's also on four different types of medication. The psychiatrist explained because an authoritative figure caused the trauma, she reacted to any type of authority, be it us, be it the school. She was in fear of any type of authority. They now go to family therapy. That's where doctors taught them how to help manage Kaya's meltdowns and triggers. Kirkland says they also got emotional support animals like Cookie. Yeah, you said hello to them? And a bunny, Pinkie Pie, all to help calm Kaya down. She also keeps her doll, Avery, very close to her, especially at night. You should see her in her pretty dress. It's now been three years since that arrest. Kaya's record has since been cleared, and there's a law named after her setting the minimum arrest age to seven. I like my law how it is now, but I, like Grandma said, I want it to be at 12 so me and other kids can be protected. But Kaya's family is still advocating for more changes. Until that happens, they say they're grateful for the therapy, counseling, and guidance to help her heal. They celebrate her achievements by hanging awards and accolades on the wall right above the piano. Kaya's family also says she's doing really well at a new school in Orange County. She's involved and active. On the school safety patrol. Jesus. They say they're doing whatever possible to make sure Kaya knows she's doing the best she can. Almost every day she comes to me, Grandma, am I being good today? Grandma, am I behaving? And she's always looking for reassurance that she is behaving. And you have to tell her, and you're not being a bad girl. You know, these are things that are basically beyond your control. And we're just working on your adaptive skills. I know I'm getting, I'm gonna get better. It's just that, I miss the old man. And the PTSD is something that she's going to have to live with the rest of her life. And PTSD sucks, believe me. You have good days, you have bad days. When the officer was questioned, he stated he wasn't really sure what the policy was on handcuffing children. This should be no surprise. He did this previously as well. He was ultimately fired. He was not given a choice to resign. He did not get any retirement. He was fired terminated, fired. We have to make a change. 
We have to stand up. Things like this are going to keep happening. Lack of training and not knowing has to be corrected. What's your thoughts on this video? Comment and let us know.